All right, welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we're going to be creating a blog post using only Jasper AI. And just before we get started in that, uh, we have a lot of members joining my Jasper Training Vault. You can get access to this uh, two different ways. There'll be a link below, the first link in the description. If you wanna go check this out, if you wanna uh, kind of join a community where you can uh, direct message me about Jasper, or you can also uh, chat um, inside of each video inside of the vault. So you can actually ask questions, get answers um, and so forth. And then you can also learn uh, different tips tricks and techniques that I'm using Jasper to build uh, currently right now I'm building a brand new website in a brand new micro niche and you're able to go and learn exactly how I'm doing that inside of Jasper so here's the Jasper vault just click the link go check it out there's two ways to get it so um, if you're already um, if you already pay for Jasper and you want access to the vault, right? So this would be for uh, if you're out there and you already are paying for Jasper and enjoying it, um, but you also want to take your content to the next level and or maybe uh, learn some new things, then you would just click this button here and go and sign up. It's only $8.99 per month. You can cancel any time. Um, and I'm adding uh, new videos. I literally just added four or five new videos within the last week to the vault. So you can go check this out. Um, and then if you um, don't have a Jasper, Jasper account and you want to sign up for a paid account, you actually can click this uh, orange button here and go and sign up for Jasper. And once you become a paid member, then you also will get access to the vault. So there's two different ways, made it really easy to get access to the vault. This is what the vault looks like right now. We've got nine videos in there so far, and you can see um, that it's just nicely laid out right here. We have a uh, Jasper uh, chat prompts, so much like uh, uh, chat GPT, Jasper has its own um, kind of uh, functions the same as uh, chat GPT, uh, but it does have some advantages that you don't get in uh chat GPT, both of them have advantages and disadvantages, of course, but with Jasper, you can actually look up current events. And so it will actually give you data that from today um, and last night and uh, this year. And with chat GPT, you do not get that. So that's one cool reason to pick up Jasper and use the Jasper chat. So we're also using Jasper chat to create content as well. So you can see right here, we are building a website and so forth. So really cool stuff. You wanna go join, um, the link will be below. All right, so let's create some content. I'm in Jasper right now, and I'm just gonna go up to templates and then I'm gonna go over to documents. And you can see I'm using this. I also have, um, if I go over here to documents, I actually have just uh, signed up one of my uh, virtual assistants. And you can see right here, some. The, this is not me, uh, my virtual assistant has access to my account and they're creating content right here um, as well. Um, so we're going to come over here and you can also, that's what's really cool about Jasper is you, if you have a VA, you can actually easily sign them up and they just use your credits um, and you can control that as well. Uh, but it's really easy to add someone to your account, to your team account and um, give them access so they can use the tool. And all you have to do is just train them. Um, so we're going to go over here to uh, templates, like I said, go over to da uh, documents. And then I've really been enjoying using this workflow over here. There's plenty of ways that you can create content. And that's what's cool about Jasper as well is that you have multiple ways that you can create your content uh, within. Uh, and then they also give you a lot of uh, different uh, screen displays. You can do multiple tools at once on the same display. Um, they've just really kind of, um, they're always thinking of every angle to try to cover uh, every angle they can for uh, Jasper users that m may or may not need a certain layout or so forth. So these workflows are really cool because you can come through here and I've been focusing mostly on the blog post workflow and then I just push the start button and we'll come over here. I'm going to go and grab my keyword that I'm going to be uh, writing on today. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come over here and just throw that in right here. Um, pretty cool stuff. And then also this is my title right here. I'm going to go ahead and just capitalize that real quick. All right, so we've got um, how to make money with Audible. Um, but before we do that, I'm gonna copy this. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, something that I've been doing that I think is uh, pretty helpful is that we can come in uh, inside of over here. So I'm gonna go over to the Jasper chat um, area real quick. And we're going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this chat out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say something like, okay, so I'm gonna say, um, and then I'm going to paste that in. So give me a perfect SEO optimized article outline with the most popular and most relevant H2 subheadings that are current. The article title is how to make money with audible. And I'm going to go ahead and click this. This is what separates this from uh, ChatGPT. is we can click this button right here 
and it's going to turn on location services. It's going to also, uh, you know, search the, I believe it's going to be uh, looking at the um, top results and it's just going to have more recent information and not just from what is it, 2021, which is the limitations of chat GPT. So um, I usually just kind of, I you can save your prompt. Once you find a good prompt that's giving you good information, then you can save that prompt uh, in a Google Doc. But right here, I just uh, kind of typed this from scratch and I'm gonna push um, enter. We'll see what uh, Jasper Chat gives us right here. Hoping, oh, one other thing I forgot to do is um, specify how many H2s I want. So you can also specify that you want 10 H2s. So we might, um, depending on what we get right here, um, add more. So we'll see. So right here, um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, um, try again, try again. Um, this time, give me 12 H2s. Uh, H2 subheadings, and also um, do not add content um, under each um, heading only give me the heading so what you have um, headings so once you do this and you get a good result then you basically can rewrite your prompt right and combine it together and then you've got all the information you need i'm going to go ahead and click that and then i'm going to click it again and we'll see but that's what i've been doing so when i find a good prompt then i'll kind of combine it like in this case it took it's taking a couple you know you're having a conversation you got some pretty good results up here but then you're still looking for some better results so you tell it a little bit more right until you fine tune your uh, prompts and then you can combine both those and then go and save it in under your own Google Doc and call that, you know, Jasper prompts. Or if you're working in ChatGPT, you can do the same thing. Uh, just label it ChatGPT prompts. And you can make your own prompts. You just tell it what you want it to do and, and start fine tuning and you'll be able to get some good results. Okay, perfect. So I went ahead and rewrote it and this is what it should look like. Give me a perfect SEO optimized article outline with the most popular and most relevant H2 subheadings that are current. Give me 12 H2 subheadings and do not add any content under each heading. Only give me the headings. This article title is how to make money with Audible. So we have the title and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it did exactly what we told it to do. Um, everything is spot on. Audible, narrator, publishing books on Audible, join the Audible affiliate program. These are all ways you can make money with Audible. Uh, pretty impressive. You can actually be an affiliate and have people sign up to Audible and you'll make money that way. You can publish your own audiobooks on Audible and make uh, royalties that way. You can um, sell your voice and um, narrate and you can make that money that way as well. Uh, engage with the affiliate marketing using the company's tools, create a podcast. So right here, we've kind of covered the only ways that you can make money with the platform. So now it's just gonna go ahead and give us more information like this, right? Focusing on um, affiliate marketing and social media and so forth. So pretty cool stuff. It gives us some sources as well. So I've been using this instead of using the, t the you know, uh, the regular standard template that you can create blog outlines from as well. Um, I've been getting some pretty good results using Jasper chat to get some, some good um, article outlines. Okay. So I'm just going to copy, copy those right there. And then we're going to come back over to our blog post workflow right here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just open up my own notepad on the side over here. And then I'm going to throw that um, title in right there, throw the title in right there, and you can fill that out um, or not. And then I've been going with this a casual, helpful, informative, uh, friendly and happy. And then you push generate. We're going to go and get our introduction and we are on our way. So just that little bit of effort in the beginning will help you. And then another trick I like to do is I like to break this up right in the middle. Um, I don't like to have more than a, f a couple sentences, uh, two, three sentences top tops or max um, in writing. Um, I just think that it splits it up and that's how people like to read. Um, so then now you're on the outline and you do have to push. This is the trick. Uh, most people don't are not aware of this. Most um, you're going to you have to push the generate button right here. But we already know that we have our own outline we don't want to use. And you're going to see that our outline that we got is better than what they have. We, first of all, we have 12 um, headlines or headings. 
And when you look over here, they only have six right here, okay? So you can uh, read through these, and if there's any that stand out to you that you wanna include, then go ahead, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and just use what I have. Now, we already have an introduction, so you're gonna skip the introduction and conclusion that it gives you because uh, that's included in the template and you're gonna get a better one right here anyways. So um, let, me sh let me show you what I mean. So we actually, um, the kind of the trick is, is that if you want 10, then you need to ask Jasper chat for 12 because two of those is the introduction and conclusion. Technically, you could specify in your prompt that um, do not include an introduction or conclusion, um, so forth, right? So um, just kind of use common sense to create your prompts. Um, but in the meantime, right here, um, this is where we're at. And oops, um, I've got to go over here and do this one more time to show you. I'm generating it real quick. Um, you can't push that. So you've got to you've got to just go like this and then push Control V. And now I've got all those in um, the custom ones that we created in Jasper Chat, which is super cool. And then now don't push regenerate, push uh, next right here. And so now we um, immediately we get become an audible narrator and look, become an audible narrator. We are ready to go. We are ready to generate. And we're going to go and just create this content real quick. Um, you can uh, push the next button and then come in here and, um, you know, push enter while you're going down uh, the, um, you know, the left hand side. And just look how easy this is laid out for us. We've, we're writing our content over here. Um, it nicely takes us through our steps. And then we have our content that's going to already be optimized and has um, our H2s, everything. The formatting is, is going to be ready to go uh, right over here. You've got your word count and all that stuff. So uh, really, uh, it's one of the nicest laid out AI writing tools that you can get. And that's why they're one of the industry leading AI writing softwares. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just keep going with this. I'm going to say generate. And I'm going to kind of cruise through and actually optimize the text um, afterwards. And you'll see what I mean by that. So we can really just kind of cruise through this. I'm just going to push next and then I'm going to go over here and generate. Um, now it's focusing on one at a time. Yes, this is not a one click, you know, in three seconds have a uh, 2000 word blog post. Um, you know, if that's what you're looking for, then there's other um, content generators out there. But I think that you're going to be getting something that is, uh, you know, optimized and uh, one of the best tools. And so it's going to take a little bit longer um, and it's but you're going to get um, higher quality content if you are using Jasper. So that would be one of the main reasons why you would use Jasper over other tools, as well as the pricing. Um, fully understand that the pricing uh, for Jasper is on the high end. But I think it's with good reason not to go continue too much talking about that. So we're going to push next here. I'm going to push generate and we're just going to keep cruising, keep cruising through an alarm to pay one of my freelancers. Um, all right. So um, we're going to push next and we're going to go generate. Let's see here and just push next and scroll down, push generate. And you can see we're over a thousand words already and it's just been a couple minutes. So it's really not, you know, for me, it's worth the extra um, four to five minutes um, and the extra clicks in order to, you know, obviously read through what's going on right there. Um, and then I recommend also going through and um, looking at the text and everything before you actually publish. You can put a call, a call to action right here to look at more, um, you know, like right here, one, you can see one of the ones right there that I've used. <clears throat> But it's going to wrap everything up that it's already talked about, and it's going to generate a nice conclusion paragraph based on all the um, topics that it's talked about in the article. You can see the speed of it, and we'll push finish. We'll throw that one in over there. And so we've got ourselves a 1,350 word article um, just like that. And then what I would do is I would just come through and spend the extra couple minutes. Like right here, we've got a really long sentence. Um, you might want to go through, and like right here, you might want to rewrite that so you can actually, uh, because it's just too long, right? So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to Jasper chat now. And this is what's so cool about power mode. We're up here and what's called power mode uh, where we can bring up any tool we want inside of Jasper over here, but then also have what we're working on over here. It's just a really, really nice layout. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, rewrite um, the following. And let's see right over here. So we've got, um, didn't really work too well. So I'm actually going to say rewrite the following in shorter sentences. 
that, right? So just keep asking what you want it to do for you because we have this giant sentence that I don't think will do well. So then now we can come over here, there's a sentence there and that one is still a pretty long sentence. So we would just, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it. Um, but right there you might, you know, this might be one of those things where you just need to kind of rewrite that or just do a hard stop with a sentence right there. But right here, we're gonna go and just say conclusion and just put our H2 right there and we're good there. And then this is where I'll go like, and just split this right in the middle for most of these. Um, and it'll just take a couple of minutes. And you can see how I'm just working through this, um, just kind of where it looks like it's about in the middle. And then I just push return and look at that. So you've got a nice laid out article, uh, 1350 words, we're, we're good to go right there. So then what you can do is you can read through this, um, send this to your editor, send it to your uh, VA to read through. You can read through it yourself, spend five minutes reading through it, anything that just doesn't sound right or doesn't sound factual, especially if you're writing in a niche that you already are knowledgeable about, it makes it easier because then you can just read through this and fix anything that needs fixed. It'll take five minutes. Um, then you can either go and publish this on your site directly, or you can take this and go and put it in uh, Neuron Writer, Phrase, Surfer, um, SEO, any of your optimization tools to optimize it further before publishing. So that's how I'm using Jasper to create con high quality content. Um, and I do have ranking content with using Jasper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to go and check out the Jasper, Jasper Vault, it's in the first link in the description, and I will see you in the next video.